We've got all four Titleist TSI drivers here today. We're going to test them out with TrackMan and see how they compare. Hey golfers, Drew here at Second Swing with Jackie Johnson, a certified master fitter here at the Minnetonka location, and we're going to test out the Titleist TSI drivers, all four models today. Um, we've got one, two, three, and four here. Um, we're going to use TrackMan. Jackie's going to hit some shots for us, and we're going to compare all four models head to head. So, Jackie, I know you know the TSI one and four are a little bit newer, but I know you're familiar with all four models here. What do you think we're going to find out today? Yeah, I've, I've hit the two and three already, so I kind of have an idea what the results are going to be there. But interesting to see what one and four bring for us today, uh, and just excited to see the results. Yeah, I'm excited to watch you hit some shots. Uh, this will always be fun, and these head-head comparisons are always great. So. Um, of course, we always encourage golfers to uh, trade in their old clubs too if they're interested in a Titleist TSI driver. Um, trading in old drivers, taking advantage of these high trading values, a great option for golfers to offset maybe the, the price of an upgrade. So, uh, Jackie, are you ready to hit some shots here? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so Jackie, you've got the TSI 1 driver in your hand now. Um, and with that one, you've got the Ascent 40 gram shaft in there. So, the way Titleist builds the TSI 1, kind of the lightweight club, it comes with a light shaft. And so, figured that's probably you know the right shaft to use for the test purposes. Then we'll maybe use the same one for the other three heads. All right, sounds good. All right, so Jackie, that, I just wanted to ask you about the, um, you know, how that club felt. Because yep. I know the kind of right when you put it down right away, it's like, wow, this is really light. Uh, did you notice that and is it definitely different than maybe most drivers you've swung? Yeah, it's definitely lighter. That's the first thing I noticed. Um, the club heads a, definitely a little bigger too. So uh, at a dress, just uh, bigger than I'm used to. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the weight, like I normally play like a 50, 55 gram. So the 40 grams definitely way lighter. Yeah. Uh, for me, it kind of felt, you know, I was tugging in a little left and a lot of that's just I'm closing the face sooner than normal mm -hmm. because of that lightweight shaft. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So now with, uh, go, we'll start with uh, TSI 2 now. We'll go up to the, I guess, Tensei AV Blue 55 gram. Not great, but not terrible. All right, Jackie, um, TSI 2, five shots in. Uh, did big difference with the club head at all? Um, or was it, you know, how like the shape of the head? Is it similar? Because I know they're both supposed to be kind of the high MOI, um, larger footprint, but is it, uh, is it that different or are they similar? Uh, yeah, pretty similar. I'd say like just a little bit different in shape of the head, mm -hmm. uh, but overall very similar. Uh, I definitely felt like a little bit more consistent with the TSI yeah. 2 than the the 1. I felt like I can control it just a little bit better. I think a lot of it just with the, the weight of the shafts, 15 grams heavier. So mm -hmm. a little bit to do with that. Yeah, and you certainly swing fast enough where you would not you would need something closer to this shaft yeah. um, and probably this club head too. Clearly then that, we see that on the dispersion map here, um, just a little bit more variance with a lighter shaft, which is to be expected with someone that swings at your speed. You know, someone that swings slower, would probably see more consistency out of it, but uh, given the fact that you're, you know, you generally do play a 55-ish gram shaft, you said um, that because it fits your swing. So TSI two, pretty solid performance and pretty consistent actually distance-wise there. So that's good. Mm -hmm. um, all right, TSI three now, interesting, a little bit more compact. So interesting to see how this one plays out. you're in a groove now. This one I just feel the club head is very uh, compact and I just, I don't know, I kind of like the look of it a little bit better. All right, so Jackie, uh, TSI 3 now, you, you said you maybe liked a little bit more the compact club head look there? Yeah, it's just more familiar. Um, I used to play at Titleist Drivers and uh, this was more of the shape that okay. I had, so a little bit better 
for me in confidence over the club, uh, whereas the other, the first two, the TSI one and two, are just bigger, mm -hmm. um, higher, M higher MOI, so yeah. to be expected, but definitely felt more confident in this one than yeah. any of the other two. Yeah, I mean, I, there was, a, I mean, you definitely kind of straighten things out even more. It's kind of that trend, right? So it's kind of um, TSI one with the lighter shaft where you had, you know, kind of larger, but also farther left. Mm -hmm. TSI two moving towards the center. And then you had these four here with the TSI three that are just, I mean, they're right down the middle. And yeah. then you had maybe one pulled a little bit left there. Um, but otherwise, you're definitely straightening things out, uh, moving, moving down the line here. So, uh, but I mean, those were some pretty, you had very straight ball flights too, which was really nice to see from TSI three. So and the fun thing with TSI three, you can kind of move center of gravity around a little bit with that sure fit weight track on the bottom there. So um, in addition to, of course, all these have the sure fit hosels. So a lot of adjustability there as well. Little knuckleball there. So Jackie, that was TSI four there. Um, you know, is that club head? I mean, it kind of gradually went from sort of really large footprint, kind of gradually got smaller. And I actually think that club head size wise, volume wise is smaller than the rest. So yeah. um, did you notice that? And how did you, you know, feel about that confidence wise when you're hitting it? Uh, honestly, I didn't really notice too much like on just a dress. It looks pretty similar to the TSI three, but yeah, a little bit more compact. Um, and, and obviously it's one degree uh, less loft. So mm -hmm. I noticed that yeah. a little bit there too. But you know, when hitting it, I uh, definitely could tell it has less forgiveness. Yeah. Um, which is why when I miss hit, I thought I was gonna be going off into the trees there. <laughs> but um, they ended up not too bad and got yeah. away with them. So I was pretty pleased with that. But overall kind of, you know, yeah, I'm still in the fairway in most of those shots, but just a little less consistent than mm -hmm. maybe the TSI 3. Yeah, yeah. TSI, I guess, 2 and 3 are both pretty consistent for you, where you're yeah. kind of hovering just left maybe of the center line with this kind of section right here. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of want to take a look at the, some of these numbers because we should see, and we do actually, we see the spin, uh, you know, drop quite a bit as we kind of go down the line here, right? So TSI 1, your high, you know, MOI club head, high launch, you get the highest spin. And you kind of go down the line here and you get the spin dropping a little bit with each time. So, and that's to be expected with these, um, with these clubs here. And then we can talk about, you know, ball speed and things like that and distance where you're seeing, you know, it looks like TSI three, that was the one you were smoking the, the best here. Uh, I know that's kind of one I think that you maybe liked the most in terms of the appearance too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, just, I mean, height that I was getting out of the ball, you know, overall um, consistency with that club, mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit better. And obviously when I'm getting optimal spin on the club too, that definitely helps yeah. the distance. So uh, I could definitely tell with like the TSI four, just lower flight would be really good on a windy day. Yeah. Uh, get, I would definitely get some yardage there, but you know, definitely more optimal with the TSI three or TSI two. Yeah. So. I did want to ask you about the feel. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's that aerospace titanium 425 club head or club face, excuse me. Um, a new material from Titleist. How does that feel at impact? Does it feel solid? Does it feel soft? What, what's the feeling? Yeah. Uh, compared to their other models, I'd say definitely way different. Uh, mm -hmm. More of a pop off the face. And, okay. Uh, the sound is different too. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it sounds smoother. It is definitely softer, especially in the okay. TSI 1 to TSI 3. Um, a little bit harder on the TSI 4, which I was going to, I mean, that's to be expected. Yeah. But uh, I like it. I mean, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, I mean, that's what they're going for, right? That, the, yeah. uh, that new material in there. It's supposed to be super explosive. And I think we see that here. I mean, these are some good numbers. Uh, you're, I mean, again, you're, you're hitting it very efficiently, right? 148, 149, 149, 147. And... As we kind of went through, it's sort of, I think, what you would maybe expect to see if you were fitting yourself, too, where the TSI 2 and 3 may be the best performers. Um, and then, you know, the TSI 4, probably a little bit too low uh, if you were to, to game that. Uh, and then, you know, the TSI 1, obviously, with the shaft that comes with it, just a little bit too kind of erratic, I'd say. So, Jackie, this is obviously just a, a small sample size, and you're just hitting kind of five with each one. But 
um, given what you've now seen out of each one um, and then the golfers that you're fitting every day, you know, is there like a type of golfer maybe that each of these would fit into? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when we're first getting someone in to get fit for a driver, and, you know, for fitting them for the TSI, obviously really depends on swing speed. Faster swing speed is going to be more TSI 3, TSI 4 that you're going to be fitting them into. Mm -hmm. um, and then slower swing speeds are going to be TSI 1, TSI 2. Uh, obviously, TSI 1, TSI 2 are going to be more forgiving, yeah. so they're going to get the ball higher up in the air and hopefully, you know, control those miss hits a little bit better for you and uh, be able to control dispersion a little yeah. bit better. Mm -hmm. So I think overall, um, definitely come in a second swing, get fit, uh, and we'll definitely have one of the TSIs ready for you. Absolutely. And then, of course, bring in the trades as well and take advantage of these high trade values with your old driver. If you're like like Jackie alluded to, maybe you're upgrading from a previous Titleist driver or any different model. So, uh, Jackie, thank you for hitting all the shots today, giving your feedback and your insight on these drivers. Uh, some well, four great options from Titleist here uh, in 2021 and beyond.